Hello and welcome to Tutorial. This is DeBarizo. In this episode, we're going to look at how to analyze traffic spikes with Google Analytics. So here we're at Google Analytics, and you can see my traffic over the last couple of days. And I see a small traffic spike right here. So let's find out what's causing this spike. First, you want to get the date when the spike happened. So I'll, I've moused over the date and you'll see that it was April 13. Then go to the date range section, which is right here. And then click the arrow. It'll pull months and days. And then you'll just want to make the date range to only include April 13, which is when the spike happened. So I'm going to click April 13 and you'll see date range April 13th to April 13th and then just click apply so here are the stats just for that day and then you'll scroll down to the traffic sources overview and I can tell the spike came from search engines because my traffic numbers for referring sites and direct traffic are not very high to analyze the search traffic, just click View Report. Then you'll want to scroll down to the Keyword section here. The Keyword section shows you the top five keywords based on traffic. And I can tell that the spike was mostly caused by the top two keywords because they have much more traffic than the other keywords. Also both keywords, both of the top keywords are related. They both have the words Alara Reborn. And this blog is in the gaming industry. This, um, the site that I'm using as an example for Google Analytics. It's a blog in the gaming industry and Alara Reborn is one of the new products coming out so it looks like the buzz is growing for the product more more and more people are searching for it as the release date draws near okay let's find out which of my pages is attracting people searching for those keywords so to do that scroll back up and then click on content and then click on top landing pages And as you can see, based on traffic numbers here, you can tell that this is the blog post that's getting all the traffic. And then you can just click here. I'm going to open it in a new tab, and you can see the blog post. As you can see, this blog is about Alara Reborn, so it's getting a lot of traffic. Now, I can. how can I use this information to get more traffic? Well, the most simple thing I can do, and probably the most effective, is just to write more posts related to Alara Reborn. Because I think yeah, this is the only post I have about Alara Reborn. It was back in 2008, October 21, whereas I'm getting traffic. Um, I got that traffic spike in April 13, 2008, uh, 2009. Another thing I can do, other than writing more posts, um, or that is related to that strategy, I'm going to go back two pages, is just to make sure the keywords are actually targeted to the blog post. So here is a lottery reborn card list, and my post was not really about a card list, so I can definitely write a blog post entitled Alara Reborn Card List and get a lot of traffic that way. So that's uh, one example. Let's look at another example. Here I'm at Google Analytics again but this is for um, another site. This site is MidoriLay.com and it's an online dress store I run with my sister. And here back in the month of February you can see there was a pretty big traffic spike. It was on February 23, 2009. 
So um, to analyze it, let's do the steps again. So the date is February 23. We'll go here, click February 23, and then click Apply. Okay, let's scroll down, and then let's look at the traffic sources overview. Okay, this is different. This time, in this example, it's not the search engines that are sending all the traffic because the search engines has low traffic and so does direct traffic, but referring sites has a bulk of the traffic. So let's analyze the referring sites traffic by clicking view report. And then this time we're going to scroll down, but we're not going to look at keywords because we know that we're not getting a lot of traffic on that day from search engines. We're actually going to look at sources. And it's pretty easy to see here that the bulk of the traffic is coming from collegecandy.com. And College Candy is a popular college blog. So again, to find out the page or pages that are getting traffic, I'm going to go up and click on content and then click top landing pages so as we look at the traffic over on here I can see that College Candy really liked one of our posts and then again you can click this, I'm going to open a new tab, you can see the post that was getting the traffic. Hmm, my internet's slow for some reason. So it's a post my sister wrote on what to wear with a fedora hat. So how can I use this information to get more traffic? Well, with referring sites, when you get a lot of traffic from referring sites, um, there's several things you can do. First, I can offer guest posts on College Candy and other similar blogs. I can promote the blog posts to other college blogs. And also, I can create similar blog posts and pitch it to College Candy and other college blogs. So, I hope that makes sense. And that's it for this episode. If you're looking for more internet marketing uh, videos, please go to tutorial.com and thanks for watching